Hey, Cindy here. Welcome to my 1950s home. It's a great place, but the kitchen, well, not so much. You got to see it to believe it, but I'm so excited. We're finally getting that redo I've been waiting for, and I'm going to take you along the entire ride with me. So come on inside. Well, the day's arrived. After all this time, it's been so exciting. I finally get to share this with you. We've got a kitchen. Take a look. So let me give you a tour of my new fabulous kitchen. I mean, where to begin? First, the color. You notice it's not orange. We're loving the earth tones, kind of different, and it feels very fresh and soothing and elegant. Now, you may notice we've added a lot of lights. It really helps to, I think, give a lot of brightness to the kitchen, gives it function. Here we have the under cabinet task lighting. Up above, we have a lot of the new recessed can lights. And then we have the hanging decorative pendant lights that are all on a dimmer that also I think look really cool and opaque, almost like candlelight. But this is our peninsula. As you can see, it's connected to a wall, so it's different from an island. And yes, we have the internet TV, so we can be hanging out here and eating while I'm prepping in the kitchen. So it's a very social and very integrated space. This is gone. Remember all that? Hello. This is a Zodiac Quartz. Uh, this type of countertop is more durable than your everyday stone. And then over here, we have a lighter countertop. Remember the old tile that I had with the grout? I'm so glad that that's history. What I like about this particular countertop is you have a lifetime of beauty. It always looks flawless. And if you ever did, God forbid, scratch it, you can buff it out. Our friends with the Corian Company, this was custom made to match the design. You can't make that anywhere else. So come over this way. Now here is our island. Remember the old island? This is my island. And so watch your step, ladies, because it's on wheels. Ah. Well, this is so much better. And there's plenty of drawer space beneath the island. And so it really becomes just a great space to use so you feel like you're this incredible chef. One of the many things that I love about our new kitchen is the variety. I mean, it's tough to make a choice on the color of the cabinets. So we kind of have the best of both worlds. We have dark and light. We have the chiffon with the Tuscan glaze on our island and peninsula. And then over here, we have a lighter countertop with a paprika with an ebony glaze. I feel our cabinets really look like furniture. Part of it is because of the beautiful cabinetry, but it's also the way it was installed. Karen, she would have nightmares, worried that she wasn't doing it properly, and make sure the next day it was all in alignment. Do you know I dreamt about that scene? It bothered me that much. Did really? Yeah. The nightmare? Mm -hmm. Now we have three different types of knobs in this kitchen, hardware if you will. I love that the woman who designed them used to make jewelry. It's really the bling of the kitchen, don't you think? My old kitchen, well, it was quaint and colorful, but it just wasn't functional. <laughs> We have so many places to not only hang out, but use the kitchen and enjoy the space. Organization in the kitchen is so critical. I mean, it's so important just to feel better about this great space. And I'm really proud of this. Check out my spice drawer. This is our Marilat spice organizer, but look, it's set up by region Asia, Mexico, Italy, your basic spices. I'm loving this two-sided sink. I love that it's this cast iron colored enamel. It looks kind of like crackled glass inside. And check out the faucet with the extension. And then of course for our garbage disposal, way cool. And under the sink, this is the core guard we told you about that protects any potential spill from ruining your cabinets. You may remember the floor debate that uh, Bill and I had. Well, here we have chosen the porcelain tile. Abby loves it, Bailey loves it. Isn't it gorgeous? So I've always wanted the double door refrigerator and I love with this GE Cafe line, we have space for everything. It's efficient, of course. And it has this uh, custom look with all the cabinetry. It looks like it's a piece of furniture. So yes, we are loving our new front load washer and dryer that makes all kinds of fun noises and lights up. A very cool feature I didn't know existed was the steam technology for our washer and dryer. We put our clothes in and it comes out practically pressed. And now we have this gorgeous countertop that goes right above it. And over here we have our nice, deep, 
deluxe laundry sink to do that hand washing that I need. This really is a comfortable laundry space. I am so ready to test drive this kitchen and really christen it, if you will. I've consulted my experts, of course, the Jans for the creation of all this, but now I'm gonna check in on a couple of my chef buds. Let's check out with my GE guys, Joe and Brian. Hey, Cindy, hold on one second, let me put you on speaker. Hey, it's Cindy. So I know you guys cook up all the time there in GE land. I need some advice on what would be really cool to serve for our very first party in our new kitchen. Oh, we are full of ideas. <laughs> you know, the whole food truck craze is there, and if you can set up your kitchen where you have cool little taco stands, like with, you know, an Asian variety, maybe a Mexican, God knows what, Italian, you could go anywhere okay. with that. Have some fun. Taco bar, all right, we can do this. And uh, Cindy, we just want to say thanks for the invitation to the new party. We appreciate that back here in Louisville, Kentucky. I guess it got missed sometime. Yeah, yeah. must have lost in the minute. Hopefully we'll see you soon. I know, sorry you guys couldn't make it to the party, but you were invited next time, okay? Promise. So now that we're going to have the taco bar thing, what to drink? Hmm. You know that hot Australian chef, Curtis Stone? Well, he's in my speed dial, so I'm going to give him a little buzz. Cindy, how's things? for you because you're so great as entertaining um, what should I serve for a really fun beverage I mean these jams they have to be wow look if you're gonna make a cocktail um, I'd, I'd keep it pretty simple because you don't want to be you know uh, playing bartender all night long so actually why don't you make something up ahead of time just kick it off with um, something like a sangria you know so then you can make a picture of it you can sit it on the bench and people can come up themselves all right Curtis thanks for your time you're my BFF, you know. So you said, good luck. All right, so we are set, and one of the stars of this kitchen is this Advanium Speed Cook Oven. Now, this has made the best chicken I've ever had. The weight's so flavorful and fast, less than an hour, so we're gonna roast it for our chicken tacos. And our guests are coming soon, but I'm not worried. You know, getting ready for a party can be stressful sometimes, but it's not for me now because with this kitchen, everything works together so quickly. It's easy, it's a perfect kitchen. One of the many things that's really terrific about our new oven is we can cook up to the last minute when we're getting ready for a party. Things come out evenly, and now it's so effortless, and it all comes together. Another thing that's really great is that we can be cleaning in our house, our dishwasher, our washer and dryer, while we're entertaining because it's just that quiet. Well, I would have a party just to show off this amazing fireplace. It's called Fire Glass. It always stays clean, and it really heats up the room quite a bit more. It's really the jewel of the room. And enjoy it whether it's in the morning or in the night. So let me show you this very cool Maestro Kitchen stereo system that we now have in our kitchen. It's made by Harman Kardon. It plays radio, MP3, iPod, and CD. The speakers are incredible, by the way. You're gonna love the sound. The speakers are installed inside the cabinets, one here and one over there. And so I thought I would play my pal Eric Stromer's CD. We're gonna give it a listen. Oh, day or night, rain or shine. Well, if it's stuck, I can twist it. If it's heavy, I can lift it. I'm your Mr. Fix-It Man. Cheers. 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 Well, let's get this fabulous chicken out of the Advanium because it's going to be crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. And it was done in just, what, 40 minutes or so? Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look. Well, as you're cutting, I want to talk to you a little bit go. more about how this is not only a, a beautiful kitchen for entertaining and living in, but we are prepping, and this is a great place to prep a meal. We really did achieve what we set out to do. We opened up the space, we tied all this, all the rooms together here, we created mm -hmm. the different stations. Mm -hmm. My biggest fear was this big beam coming down or not being able to open up this space for you. And uh, once we got the engineer in here and found out that we could, it was a sigh of relief to have, I think the whole point was to bring everyone together. And with that wall down, we achieved that, and I'm really very pleased. And that new beam, watching the guys slide it in from the pond area through that window. <laughs> 
But before even doing that, when they were digging in in this area that used to be the wall, I'm a little disappointed they didn't find treasure. Okay, well keep your eye out for money down there. Yeah. We'll, we'll split it, okay? Okay. Well, it's almost party time, so I have to check up on my buddy Eric to see if he can make it. He's been uh, working on a TV shoot all day. Cindy, yeah, how are you? Well, how's it going? Can you make a buy tonight? I'm so, I'm so sorry I can't be at the party, God. It sounds great. Okay, we'll have a party when you come back. All right, enjoy the new kitchen. I'm so glad that you got that going on, and I cannot wait to be a guest there. And uh, thank you so much. Oh, I think I hear Bill coming up the driveway. Let's get the taco bar going, and go. it's time to eat. A lot of things that I learned in terms of this whole kitchen remodel process. First of all, I'm so relieved that we chose the two Jans for our designer and contractor. They really helped us stay on, on budget and on time and stay focused because when you're going through this process, it can get stressful and you can get kind of overwhelmed. And so they really kept us right on course. And I think they saved us a lot of time and a lot of money. So that has been a great relief. Fortunately, we have a little champagne left. So why don't you say we treat ourselves? All right. Yay, we did it. <laughs>